Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It is Claire and Rags. And first of all, no, you're not going crazy. It's not Wednesday already. It is Monday. But me and Rags are going to be doing extra vlogs on the Mondays that we're not doing live streams. So that's every two weeks. So one week we'll be doing a live stream for you guys and the week after we'll be doing an extra vlog. So there you're going to be getting a lot more of me and Rags in your week. This vlog I have for you is a fun one. I'm going to be sharing five interesting tortoiseshell cat facts. Now Rex herself is utterly fascinating on her own, obviously. But tortoiseshell cats do have a few interesting facts about them and I'm going to share them with you. The first one is tortoises. Now most coat colours have certain traits attached to them and tortoiseshell cats are no different. They have what we like to call tortoises. This means that the tortoiseshell cats are a little more likely to be mischievous and Rags can certainly attain to this. She can really be a little minx sometimes. <laughs> tortoiseshell cats are seen as being a bit more curious, a bit more mischievous and sometimes get themselves into uh, silly situations. The second one is superstition. Now quite a few cultures see tortoiseshell cats as a sign of good luck, which is very nice isn't it Pixie? But over here in England it is believed that if you rub a tortoiseshell cat's tail it'll get rid of warts. I'm not 100% sure about that one. I don't think Rags is either. <laughs> also, Japanese fishermen like to take tortoiseshell cats on their boats to ward off ghosts, which is also very interesting. I don't have warts, but you can never be too careful. Hey, Rexy. Number three, did you know that most tortoiseshell cats are, in fact, female? Only one in about 3,000 tortoiseshell cats are male, which makes or most of our tortitude tortoiseshell cats feisty females. This doesn't surprise me. <laughs> the fourth one is a famous tortoiseshell. Now, over in Japan, there was a tortoiseshell cat called Tama, who was the station master at Kishi Station. She served as the station master for most of her 18 years, and even though she was technically calico, Calico is a type of tortoiseshell, one that has a bit more white in their coat. Though she passed away in 2015, she was given the posthumous title of Honorary Eternal Station Master, which I think is really, really sweet. What do you think about getting a job, Rex? Pay your way? No, I don't think so. <laughs> and the fifth one is it's not actually a breed. So I describe Rags as half Persian, half tortoiseshell. Now, whilst that's technically true, being tortoiseshell isn't actually a breed. Rex's father was Persian and her mother was a tortoiseshell moggy, so she's technically half Persian, half tortoiseshell moggy, but she's definitely tortoiseshell in attitude. So, <laughs> you can get tortoiseshell cats of any breed, including Cornish Rexes, Persians and Orientals. I think it's the attitude that really counts. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, I hope you found these five tortoiseshell facts really interesting. If you have any additional facts, please share them in the comment section below. I would absolutely love to learn more about my lovely tortitude tortie. <laughs> Thanks again for watching guys, and I will see you on Wednesday and next week. Bye guys! Hi! Hey beautiful. You're so pretty. <gasps> what is it? Is it a ghost? <laughs>